What's up, OGs? It's Teresa Plus 5, and I'm back up in this gig. So, as you guys know, we are preparing for Hurricane Milton. Um, they said it's going to be a Category 5 hurricane. As y'all do know, I am on the bottom floor in my apartment. So, my friend gave me a spare key to her house because she's on the second floor. So, if it start acting like it's going to flood, baby, we're going to go to the second floor at least. And then we're not on the third floor, so the roof could, like, cave in or whatever. So, I'm so grateful and thankful for a friend like that, baby. So, I'm making the kids some breakfast right now. I did order us some lunch, some Cuban sandwiches. And then, um, yeah, we're just going to finish prepping. I got some Ziploc bags that I'm going to fill with water and put them in the freezer just to keep our food cold, like our sandwich meat and our sliced cheese and stuff and milk. But, yeah, just stay tuned for the vlog. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I am a little scared because Tampa has never been hit directly. So, I am a little bit scared. Just a little bit. But I know the storm is big. But I know my God is bigger. So, I gotta have faith. So, that's what I'm doing, y'all. But, um... Yeah, they say this is gonna be a Category 5 hurricane. I even seen where, um... The mayor had her little comments, and they were disgusting comments. So somebody had asked the mayor what did she think about people that didn't evacuate or couldn't evacuate. You know what she's going to say, y'all? She's my, oh, I don't mess around with stupidity. Then I seen on Instagram where she made a whole another comment to my, oh, if y'all don't evacuate out of the evacuation zones, you're going to die. What kind of comment is that to say to your tampians or i don't know how to say it floridians your city people what is that to say you gonna die like what now what if god reversed that what if he reversed that and then it'd be her on the other foot her on the other end of the stick but yeah, they said it's going to be a Category 5. It's going to be, I think, 160 miles per hour winds. I don't know, y'all. But like I said, if it gets too, too bad, we're going to go to the second floor. My friend gave us a spare key to her house. And she said, just do whatever we need to do while we're there. And yeah. And Tico also sent me a message, y'all. So Tico, which is our electric company said Tampa Electric is prepared for Hurricane Milton. We anticipate widespread extended outages and have so far mobilized more than 4,500 resources for restoration. Please make final preparations now. Always assume down power lines are live. There go Jeremy y'all. Say hey. Yeah, my lips dry. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fill up these Ziploc bags full of water just so our food can stay cold. The Ziploc bags are going to act as like freezer bags and then we can kind of break it up like ice. So, so I'm going to double bag these Ziploc bags and put one inside the other just so we won't have any leakage. No. Bless you. Bless you. Okay, so now I don't put a bag inside a bag. Ask me what's inside my bag. It's just a bag. Okay, I got to straighten this out, though. All right, I'm going to open this one up. Y'all see that? How's the double bag? Okay, so we're all done. We're gonna put the bag in the freezer. And I've already put two bags in there so far. I'm gonna lay them down flat just so when they freeze up, it'll be like a little flat piece of ice. Y'all see that? All right, so this is the fourth bag. I'll probably just do four or five bags. All right, we're all set. Put this one in there as well. Put this one right here. I might do one more bag. And then these are cups that I had on froze the other day. 
And then these are water bottles I froze the other day. I'm gonna take these hot dogs out and probably cook them and brown them for the kids. That way we'll have some hot dogs with it, hot, cold, warm, whatever. So this is how big the Cuban sandwiches is. We done already bust down about three of them. That's why I knife dirty right here. And then we got some um macaroni and beef in here. Just a little something, something for right now to eat. Right now it's pretty sunny outside. There ain't nothing going on. The wind blowing a little bit, but not much, y'all. But yeah, it's sunny out here right now. Sky is clear. All right, OG, so I packed us a duffel bag. So we got all of our personal information in there. This is Taylor's um, inhaler. On this side, because it's on like three compartments. On this side, we got toilet paper, pads, even though it's not that time of the month, toothpaste, Lysol wipes. Where is it? I just had it. Soap. Y'all know what soap look like. And then in here, I got like some first aid stuff, like some band-aids, Tylenol, fever medicine for the kids, pain relief, rags, band-aids, alcohol prep pads, stuff like that. Then I gotta pack some more stuff along with this. So I'm thawing out these hot dogs. I probably cooked half of them, so that's about 12 of them right now so the kids will have something to eat i also had cooked the rest of the chicken strips i had got from sam's club i'm just trying to cook most of my food that i have in my freezer because if the power go out the food gonna go bad anyway so i might as well cook it all up just so they can have some food readily available as if you know we having a barbecue okay so i'm gonna make the hot dogs and burn them and then make sure they kind of stay warm or hot or whatever and yeah but now it's starting to get cloudy outside, you guys. Let me show y'all. Okay, so now it's cloudy out here. Oh, geez. And the wind is blowing a little bit. Just a little bit. Not much. But it is cloudy out here. It looks like somebody's putting up something on their windows. I don't know. I can't believe that meteorologists were sitting on live national news crying like get your ass off the news station we don't need nobody on there breaking down crying we need somebody on there telling us look y'all need to evacuate if you're gonna evacuate um it's barely gas at the gas stations like tell people the truth don't be sitting around here taking a moment to be all emotional so we don't have time to be emotional right now okay we gotta survive and then for the mayor to say that disgusting ass message it shows that she has no heart for humanity exactly. all she cares about is herself like she sucks real bad i understand the intent behind her saying oh if you don't evacuate out of those evacuation areas you're gonna die because most of us from florida we don't believe hurricanes will actually hit us directly or it'll do a lot of damage so i get the intent behind it but it was like real crazy to say that out her mouth and if i ever catch her on the streets gonna be me and her and she used to be the chief of police can you imagine somebody in power somebody in charge thinking that they're god or somebody like who are you to determine when is my time to go oh you're gonna die who said you was in charge of somebody's life like girl what Sit your old ass down somewhere. You probably mad because you on the verge of dying. And you don't care about nobody else dying. That's what it's giving. And then, oh man, you need to go sit down. When y'all see stuff like that, y'all, they be trying to put fear in y'all. Like, it's called fear mongering. When you just trying to put fear into people. And that's not right. Just tell them what's going on. You telling people to evacuate, but there's no gas. 
at a lot of gas stations. There's no food in the grocery stores. It's traffic all along I-75, I-4, all the interstates that's going northbound to get out of Florida. Like, it's people that has been driving for nearly 18 hours, and it would only take them, like, maybe two hours to get where they were going because the traffic is so congested and jam-packed. Like, tell these people the truth. Like, when you leave out, girl, there ain't going to be no gas where you going. That's why I ain't leave. I don't want to be in the way. And then the shelters are nearly full. The hotels, Airbnbs are booked out to capacity. The airlines been stopped moving at 9 o'clock this morning. Like, but you still telling people, evacuate, 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 evacuate. Make it make sense, girl. But you have to use your own mind and your own common sense because sitting there looking at the news all the time, girl, it's going to have your mind in a frenzy. It's going to have you emotional instead of thinking rational. Okay. So I just want to say that as well. You know, the hurricane going to come through and do what it do. And we just got to do what we need to do. Period. Use your survival skills. That's what we're doing. Because, baby, if it's going to get you, it's going to get you, girl. <laughs> and, baby, I ain't putting no spell on me tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to die. Like, I don't even want to hear that. And it just keeps sharing that message around and sharing it and sharing it and sharing it, giving it more light, giving it more attention. And it don't need no attention. That's negativity. Like, girl, I don't even know why you still the mayor of our town. It's mind boggling. That was so insensitive of her to say that. So I'm making me and the kids some hot dogs. And I'm gonna put them in this plate right here with some of the aluminum foil. And then I'm gonna make them some biscuits just to eat or just to have. So yeah. So I got some of the hot dogs here. They're not too, too burnt. Feel like gas station hot dogs, yo. <laughs> All right, OG, so this is the current state of the hurricane right now. It's raining outside and it's a little cloudy. The wind's not really blowing much, but it's blowing. I see the wind blowing a little bit. It's not that many people that evacuated over here in my apartments. Today is Wednesday, October 9th. 2024. Okay, so the wind is starting to pick up out here, OGs. I seen some people right there that was trying to evacuate. If y'all see, if y'all look closely, the signs like blowing a little bit. So the wind is picking up. The wind is picking up a little bit. It's wet on my porch. It feels good out here though. It's breezy. So Jeremy was the first one to wake up, or the first kid to wake up. So I made him go take a shower. So he's taking a shower now. I'm about to make the kids some breakfast, some bacon, eggs, and grits, just so it'll stick to them for a while. And then they'll probably eat those leftover hot dogs, or I'll make them some beefaroni, or just something to keep them full. But, um, so the update on Hurricane Milton, they said it's still a Category 5, um, but they did say it moved kind of down south from Tampa. So now it looks like it's moving down towards Miami, or I guess Broward or something like that. My lips dry. But yeah, y'all, so that's a good thing for us, but a bad thing for other people that's still in Florida. Also, I want to send my prayers out to everybody in Florida and everybody that's going to be in the path of this hurricane, Hurricane Milton. Um, with the name Milton, 
Milton wasn't shit back then, and he ain't gonna be shit now, okay? That's just what I observed, all right? And then I heard it's gonna be another hurricane coming. Um, I forgot the name or whatever. I guess Joyce or something. I don't know, y'all, but it's supposed to be a hurricane coming right after Milton. So we gotta prepare for that as well. Um, as soon as I get my food stamps, like as soon, as soon, as soon, as soon, as soon as I get my food stamps and this whole hurricane thing dies down, I'm going to Sam's Club to stock up again like I did at the beginning of this month. Well, last month, kind of. But yeah, I can't wait to go to Sam's Club because I know they're going to stock it back up because I know right now it's probably empty. It's probably empty. But yeah, that's a little update on the hurricane. Um, I think the wind and rain is picking up, to be honest. So, but I'll be showing y'all throughout the day how it looks. If I don't show y'all, that mean it is off the chain. It done got worse. But um, I'll keep you guys updated. Who, girl, the bacon was just shooting, girl. Who shot you? The eggs are gone. I mean, the grits are gone. Girl, I had me all discombobulated in my thoughts. But the uh, grits are gone and the eggs are done. They can be attacking people. So, OGs, this water is going to be for when the power goes out and I need to flush the toilet. So, yeah, I am definitely prepared. I'll probably um, fill up some more like trash cans or whatever just to have extra water. But we're pretty good, okay, y'all? I also have a container of water in the kids' bathroom as well in case they have to use the bathroom and the power is out, so we're good. If the power goes out and they have to pee, I'm just going to let them pee, 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 pee. But if they have to number two, then that's when we'll flush. Journey's washing our dishes. It was her turn to do the chores today. So here's the update on the freezer bag. <laughs> That's how they look now. I have what, five of them? So yeah, and then I'm gonna freeze this. All right, so we just got an emergency alert. It says urgent, expect Milton impact soon. Find shelter. So Journey's done with the dishes and now I'm about to mop. Y'all here joining us singing. She's taking a shower. She's singing Jingle Bell. <laughs> So, oh geez, it was just water coming in, like a little puddle. I don't know if it's from like the cracks in the wall. Probably so. Or like cracks in the ceiling, cause it is cracks in the ceiling up there. So we might have to go to my friend's house. Cause it is cracks in the ceiling. So yeah. Okay, so do y'all see the little puddle that's coming in? I think it's due to like the cracks in my wall. Like in the baseboard, y'all see those cracks? So if it gets like any bigger, like really, really big to where it's like life threatening, then we'll go ahead and evacuate to my friend's house. But right now I don't see it as a threat. So the last hurricane that impacted my house from like cracks in my ceiling, or cracks in my baseboard was, I believe, Irma. And it affected my bedroom window and the wind was blowing really hard and it was raining really hard, just like it is right now. But I had put like a comforter at the top of the window and it kind of stopped a lot of the rain. Like it rained overnight, just like it's gonna rain overnight for this hurricane. So worst case scenario, I'll probably put something right there, but if it gets to be 
too much water, then I'm going to evacuate to my friend's house. But I have had this problem before in my bedroom window. And this was when my grandma was still alive and when Jeremy and Jill were newborns, y'all. Yes, this was during Irma. So I have went through something like this before, so it doesn't seem life-threatening to me because I've experienced it before. But if it gets to be too, too much, yeah, me and my kids is packing up and leaving and we already got our bag packed. So we'll just go right on upstairs, okay? So I don't want to, you know, scare you guys because I know a lot of you that watch me are older um, and you get a lot of anxiety from watching like the videos that I post, but, uh oh, girl, not that the light had flickered. Girl, I hope our lights don't go out. <laughs> but I will keep y'all updated. Okay, OGs, let's see. Okay, so it's not much water here after 30 minutes. I think it's because the wind was blowing really, really hard. So as long as the wind don't blow like really, really hard, water won't really come in here, but it's a little bit there still. So I'm just gonna keep check on it. So Jamie about to get him a hot dog. <laughs> I'm gonna heat him up a little bit. But I don't wanna kill a dog. You don't wanna heat it up? I don't want to kill a dog. You ain't killing no dog, boy. It's a hot dog. Man. Okay, so we're going to heat it up just a little bit, okay? Is it by itself? Huh? The hot dogs? Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> I want one. One? All right, OGs, I'm going to end the vlog here, and I'm also going to watch my living room window because that's the only window that's leaking on the floor and it's kind of leaking through the cracks of the windows. So I'm gonna keep track of that, but I'm going to end this vlog here. If you guys like this content, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, share the video so we can grow, and also put your notification bells on so you guys can be notified. Every, every time, time we, we post, post new content, content. Cause, cause you, you gotta, gotta ring that bell. bell. Ring that bell, ring that bell. Ring a ring a ring. Bye. Bye.